So wave 2 is finally out in Royal High and as you guys know there are 5 different quests you can complete to obtain different accessories. Today I'll be going over the Lighthouse quest which I believe to be the most confusing. So here is a tutorial for those of you that still have not completed this quest and I hope you guys enjoy. So from spawn, what you need to do first is walk all the way here to the crown casuals. This is actually where the tourist would be and she will actually be the one that gives you the quest. But before we talk to the tourist, you need to go to the lighthouse and knock on the door once. You don't need to spam knock, just knock on the door once. Here it says you hear faint rustling coming from the inside, no answer dot 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 you can faintly hear a cat meowing honestly when i first saw this part i was kind of like ready for a jump scare because it does give those like eerie vibes after you knock on the door once it would say quest point saved you go back to where i showed you guys before there is a person here now that spawned so now she actually spawned in after you knocked on the lighthouse door and to progress with the quest, you need to talk to her. She's like a tourist vacationer, and what she tells you is that she's too scared to actually relax and have fun because she's scared of who is inside the lighthouse, and she's wondering why the lighthouse light is always turning on at night when there is supposedly no one there. So she believes that the lighthouse is haunted, I'm worried. I started talking to some locals. They say the lighthouse is really freaky. How so? The light, I've seen it from my room. I can't sleep because of it. Some say it's abandoned, but it just can't be. Who is turning on the light at night? I'm telling you, it's weird. Some even say it's cursed. Well, have you heard of automatic lights? You know, they kind of go on at night. But we're gonna go investigate anyways. And I'm gonna see what's up. So now that you talk to her, what you need to do is keep knocking on the door. They basically give you a quest objective. So the grumpy voice is always like, I'm not home and trying to get you to leave the lighthouse, you know, but because you are so insistent and want to find out why people are so scared, you decide to keep on knocking on the door. Donut, what are you doing here? It's not like there's a secret hidden here or anything. Curious what lies behind my door? Are you? Too bad, you won't know. Unless... Whatever you're selling, I don't want any of it. Can't you hear me? I'm not home. Take three steps away from my door, or I'll summon the wrath of my guard cats. GG and Momo. Alright, enough. Stop! Right here, the grumpy voice will actually be like, you know, that ice cream store is really great, so it will actually suggest that you should visit ice cream parlor which is called Frostbite Frozen Delights, and you talk to her. She will actually give you an option to ask about the lighthouse. Darla tells you a little bit about the old guy in the lighthouse. So Darla gives the old man a sample, and old man thinks the ice cream is amazing, the best thing he's ever tasted. So Darla gets a boost of confidence, and Darla actually says that, you know, he's been misunderstood a lot. So apparently this is a very wholesome story. There is a late night employee that works here at the parlor. If I want to know more about the old man, I should ask him. So at first, I wasn't really sure like who to ask. She just told me to try asking some folk around the town, which is kind of broad. So the person you do need to ask for this quest to progress is this guy at the docks. I'll show you where he is right now. So you come over here to the other island and it is over by the jet skis. His name is Luke. So you would need to talk to Luke and he will give you the next quest objective. He will tell you a little bit about the old man in the lighthouse. He enjoys eating strawberry ice cream in a cup. So once you have this important piece of information, you can now go back and grab some strawberry ice cream in a cup for the old man. 
he might actually let you in his lighthouse. So now we're back at the lighthouse and you can give him the strawberry ice cream in the cup that I took a little nibble out of, just a little bit. Um, so, hey, I have something for you. I told you, I don't... Is that strawberry ice cream? Yeah, I have some here. You can have some if you let me in. Dot, dot, dot. Please? Dot, dot, dot. Come on, I looked all over town trying to find what you wanted. Yeah, I honestly did. So, you better accept this ice cream. Sir? Please open the door. Sai, Gigi, Momo, stand back. Okay, so apparently now he opens the door because he can't resist the strawberry ice cream that I'm about to give him. Now that the door is open, you can walk right on in and I glitched. <laughs> okay, there we go. I walk right in and you get teleported to his lighthouse. The old man seems to be nowhere in sight. Um, he must have rushed upstairs. And at this moment, I was like, what? There's stairs? But it just hasn't loaded in for me. Um, so what you need to do is just leave it on the table and don't touch anything. But, you know, we're kind of nosy. We invade people's privacy. So we're going to obviously open that diary that he has lying around, not even in secret. He just placed it on the table for everyone to see. So we're obviously going to open and see what's inside. But turns out you need a key to open the diary. And where do you find that key? Okay, now everything's loaded in finally. So now I can show you guys where to find the key. Um, so after placing the ice cream, you need to open the diary and the key will be just under these blankets, which you do need to click on to reveal. And after it's revealed, you can take the key, you pick it up, and then now you can use it on the diary to unlock what's inside. So here is the diary and you can open it and there's a whole journal entry and if you want to get into the plot of things i would definitely recommend reading it and if you haven't already noticed this journal belongs to someone it's written on the front cover and their name is r shiver me whiskers so what you need to do is actually search on roblox his username which is r shiver me whiskers and once you do that on the about me page you will see that there is the little poem you have to kind of decode just to save time i'm going to tell you guys what the combination or the code is um, you can search it up for fun if you'd like so we have starfish shell with a pearl mermaid tail and a sailboat now all you need to do is keep this in mind and head over to the cave right under the lighthouse so where you will be putting this code is at this little circle that looks kind of like a vault. Here you can put the code. So number one, starfish. Number two, the shell with a pearl inside. Don't mistake it for the pearl or the other shells. It has to be a shell with the pearl inside. Number three is the mermaid tail. And number four is the sailboat. This goes from top to bottom. Just match what I'm doing right now. You click submit and then the rocks will explode. Careful not to go in front of it like I did or you're gonna get crushed. So you head inside and there will be a secret cave. So I actually did glitch inside this before I actually unlocked the thing, um, but you actually can't complete it unless you, you know, actually do the quest fully. So here it is, the little ship. You can knock on the door and another grumpy voice tells you to get lost again. For them to let us in is to give him some food. This grumpy voice says that they want something chocolatey and you know where to find chocolate ice cream. So we're gonna reset just to make things quicker and head over to the ice cream parlor to grab some chocolate ice cream. Here I decided to get the chocolate ice cream in a cone just in case, but I don't really think it matters. 
I actually ended up eating the chocolate ice cream in the cone on accident because I got a little too hungry. So I think it's a good thing that I got two. So now we're gonna head back inside the cave and we can give this person their chocolate ice cream. Um, but I did end up accidentally eating the cone one. Mm, yummy. So delicious. Oh, is that it? it? Smells so good. Gobbles it down. Can I come in now? Uh, hey, uh, I guess so. Just don't dirty up the place with your... They were discriminating against humans. How rude. I'm gonna turn up the brightness. There we go. So here we are in the ship and they are nowhere to be found, but there is a little satchel on the chair. You can pick it up and then you head back to the lighthouse to give the old man the satchel that he's been desperately, so desperately looking for. And it has all of his important stuff. I'll show you guys later. I'm not trying to spoil it. We head back up here to the outside of the cave so now we're at the lighthouse again. You knock on the door. Now it's closed again. So you knock on the door and then, hey, open up, go away. You really don't let up, do you? Have you ever decided to be a captain or something? That kind of job is really suited for this kind of tenacity, you know? And you click continue. Captain Whiskers, I have something that belongs to you. Uh, dot, dot, dot. How do you know that? My name, no. You haven't been reading my diary, have you? You're really lucky you're out there, not in here, you rotten little. Please just hear me out. Uh, dot, dot, dot. I went to your boat and found your things. I, I love how we're just so nosy and everything. Holds up the satchel, door swings open. Wow. And Captain Whiskers says, you, that's, that's really it. You, you really found it? It's been so long since I saw it. He opens the bag and pulls out a tightly sealed case. Inside is a stack of photographs of a young man, a woman, and a little boy with sparkling eyes. The captain goes silent for a moment as he sees the photograph. Uh, thank you. Um, I guess an apology is in order. I'm sorry for yelling at you. It's just, folk ain't never done something this nice for me before. Not in a long time. Here, I want you to have this jewelry I found while exploring the sea. This is honestly a very wholesome moment and I definitely recommend you savor this moment and enjoy it to the fullest. It was worth it for the happy storyline that you got to witness. They did a really good job with the soundtrack, the little cutscenes. It was so beautiful. So now we finally got the badge and you can open up the shell to claim your prize, which is the heart of the ocean necklace. Yeah, here's the heart of the ocean necklace. And don't forget to hit the like button. Comment down below uh, what you thought about this quest. I thought it was super wholesome with such a beautiful plot and storyline. And I can tell they put a lot of hard work, especially into writing that diary because that thing's got like five whole pages or more. So as you know, there is more quests than just this one. I'll leave links down below when I do come out with those videos. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get notified for when those videos drop. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.